Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Beirut, Lebanon. We just had an opportunity to stay for one night at one of the best. It's a boutique. It's a 1930s mansion that's been renovated into a really, really nice hotel, a classic hotel. And so in this video, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna walk you through our room, give you uh, an entire tour of the entire hotel. Uh, the swimming pool is on the rooftop, which I haven't even been to yet. So we're gonna take a swim. We'll walk around. But first, uh, it's 7.30 a.m. We're gonna go to breakfast. Okay, breakfast. You ready for breakfast, Micah? Yeah. Yahoo! Yahoo! <laughs> yeah. Like the ninth floor, I think. But Ying, do you have the key? Uh, so I'll come back to give you a full tour of the room. The room is, it's unique, it's antique, it's creative. Uh, but we'll come back for that because we gotta go to breakfast first. We got that all day, huh? Oh, they give you a newspaper in the morning. Nice. Toss this inside for now. I think it's locked. And then this elevator is very classic, very old as well. Open up the door. Whoops! Oh. Sorry, Mecca. Sorry, Mecca. Sorry, sorry. So Mecca's head. Oh, I hear Mecca. He's Mecca. smiling. He's smiling. He's okay. Oh, sorry, Mecca. Sorry, sorry. Close the metal gate. Going. Oh, I think this is. Is this the restaurant? Okay, thank you. Very cool. Thank you. Very classic. Everything is uh, hand chosen. Everything is different. Uh, like. There's only like two tables that are the same, but then all the tables are different. The antiques around, the sofas. It's just so much character, so much history. You just feel in history here. Uh, for me, can I please have the Lebanese breakfast? One? Yeah, one Lebanese breakfast. So we chose this table because we can kind of sit upright with a big table for the food, but they do have more relaxing lounge options. Look at this full sofas. Look at this view over Beirut. That's actually a wonderful. Wonderful view. Oh yes, you just gush down just like the sofas in, in the room. Oh, okay, and then over on this side of the dining room, there's a cabinet of antiques, clay, terracotta, or ceramics. Uh, I think those are some of, the, some of the drinking gourds. Antiques, there's even, I mean, but the entire place is antiques. The, the sofas, the tables, the antique furniture. Um, and then even antiques on display. It's antiques on top of antiques. Makes for a very cool atmosphere though. Oh yeah, no, after everything. Back to breakfast now. They've started serving some of the small dishes, some of the sides, some of that you can already smell the za'atar. Thank you. I started with a Lebanese coffee. That's a good one. Oh, it's so crusty. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it's warm. Mm, I think that's like a perfect loaf of bread. Oh, mm. oh it's so good. Oh, I think that might be the... I think that might be the cedar honey. Oh. Oh, you can taste the pine, you can taste the cedar, you can taste the forest in that honey. Oh, that's so good. The egg. Thank you. Now that the eggs and fool have arrived, I think that's everything we can get started on the breakfast. It's fresh, everything looks, looks really good. I've gotta begin on those eggs while they're sizzling. I think that might be butter, that they're just sizzling in the traditional clay pan. That is a big fork. Okay. I have to eat them while they're hot and fresh. Oh. Okay, should I eat them with bread? Yeah, maybe bread, right? Bread is on the bottom. And I love this Lebanese bread, how, how thin it is. Actually, I think I'll sprinkle some za'atar on my eggs. 
I love za'atar. A mix of thyme and herbs and then sesame seeds. And then I'll just go with my bread right onto there. Squeeze that, oh, that yolk. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that's hot even in the bread. Mm. Mm. One of the benefits of the clay pot is it just keeps hot for like five or 10 minutes. One of the great things about Lebanese food and breakfast is taking a bite and then chasing with herbs, chasing with vegetables. The shadaful, uh, fava beans, which are cooked. Sometimes, sometimes it depends on recipes, but some can be more, more seasoned, more spiced. Others are plainer, and you season yourself. That's really hot as well. Mm. I love fool. They have mixed it with. You can taste the lemon juice. The garlic in there, mostly lemon juice and garlic, I think. I've eaten more Lebanese in Lebanon than I have anywhere else in the world. Mm. Oh wow. That one is really good. Really rich and buttery, and you have to chase that. Mm -hmm. That completes the bite. Oh, I just realized I made the ultimate Lebanese food rookie mistake. Normally I'm always eating with Lebanese and this, I think this is the first meal I'm not, we're not eating with a friend, a Lebanese friend. Okay, I gotta correct that. That was a borderline crime, I think. Oh, I'm very sorry, I'm very sorry for taking my first bite without drenching it. Okay, we gotta try again. Okay, Lebanese, olive oil. I'm gonna add a little sprinkle of sumac, one of my favorite spices, and then add a mint leaf on top. That's a good combo. That is seriously good Lebanese though. Good quality breakfast. Uh, let's begin the full tour of Hotel Albergo on the street side, just outside. Uh, the hotel is right behind me, the yellow building. And it's actually an old mansion in a beautiful area of town. Let me just, this area of town is called Akrafia, uh, or this quarter of town. And there are, yeah, the mansion has been restored, of course. It's yellow. There's, it doesn't even look like it from the outside, but there's something like nine or 10 stories and then the rooftop, the pool is on the roof. We're gonna go in and then I'll show you the bottom and then all the way up to our room. Step into the front door, you're meet greeted by a, a sphinx. And then right inside of there, that is the lobby where you check in. Good morning. Good morning. And then uh, you could, I mean, just as soon as you step in here, you can just feel the character, the flavor, the history. Uh, if you come to the right hand side, this is more of a bar section lounge. They've included so many antiques, the furniture, the sculptures, but at the same time, it's clean, it's well organized, it's, it's really cool. Oh, oh nice. this old elevator, <laughs> it's very cool. Yeah. And then as you go up, you see the different floors because it's fully open. Yeah. You see the different decorations, all the different sculptures. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Uh, this room, but it's okay, I have the key. I have the key. I have the key, it's okay. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. And welcome to our room on the sixth floor. Everything is designed in this hotel, Lebanese Oriental style, and I'm not sure exactly what Oriental means in this context, uh, but you see a lot of the photos, a lot of the, they do have uh, pictures and history from Asia, from the Middle East, maybe from the trade, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what it means in this context. But what's unique about this hotel is that every single room is totally different because it's right here to the right hand side. We'll step into the bathroom first. I love this stone. It's kind of peach in color, light, light pink. So I've got the toilet here, the bidet, the sink, 
And then over here they have all your little lotions and some kind of specialty soap. What is this? A loofah bath pad. I have no idea what that is. Okay, and then if you look under here, I think this is where they keep all of your, your other things like the, the shaving kit. Actually, I need to use that. Let's go see the entire room now. We got the room with the design that kind of, if you look around the walls, the entire wallpaper, it's not even wallpaper, it's, it's cloth actually. Uh, but you do see the very oriental design, the pagodas. Again, like everything is unique. The bed isn't unique. The sofas are unique to this room, the desk. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't want to get up. But I have to tell you also that this, that this, uh, we slept here last night and this is one of the most comfortable beds at a hotel I've ever slept on. Oh, yes. Let's try this soap out. We just had breakfast, but a good selection of fruit. A whole melon, which I can, it's so aromatic. We might need to, we might need to open the melon. Oh, if you smell it from the stem or the, yeah, from the stem. Oh, that's gonna be a good melon. Whoa, that's kind of a straight down drop off. Oh man, but that's a pretty cool view, plus the breeze. Are you ready to go swimming? Yeah. Are you ready to go, Mike, are you ready to go swimming? Let's go. get out at the restaurant, that's where we had breakfast, come up the stairs to the rooftop. And this is the outside terrace where again you can have breakfast. Lots of people are having breakfast there now. That is a really nice place to have breakfast, but I think the, the, the dining room had all the character with the, the antiques. And now one more flight up, we're going to the pool. Wow, spectacular views of Beirut, I'm loving it. Wow, that's quite a, quite a drop off there but awesome views. You can see the sea in a few directions, the, the mountains. Keep coming up to the, to the swimming pool, the rooftop swimming pool. This is really the highlight. There's a bar up here. You can eat up here. You have 360, a 360 view of Beirut. And then the swimming pool overlooking it all with, I believe that is the, the tallest building in Beirut. This is one of the best rooftop terrace swimming pools I think I've, I've ever seen. Oh, water is nice though. Water is cool. Oh yeah, oh that's superb, that's so refreshing, it's cool, the sun is bright today, the Mediterranean mist, the sea, oh yeah, this is one of the greatest pools, <laughs> this is beautiful, Micah, okay let's go, Micah let's go, ah, come on buddy. Water is refreshing, but yeah, the views of Beirut from here are spectacular. Yeah, I think this is the highlight of the, the hotel is just hanging out here on the top at the pool, in the on the terraces, in the lounges. Made it back to the room, took a shower. Oh, the gushy sofa. It's such a well done hotel with the decorations, with the design, with the, the thought out entire entire hotel. I want to say a big thank you. Uh, first of all, my, my friend Camel, he is a good friend of mine in Beirut and he knows the manager here and so he arranged it um, and so we stayed for one night. I didn't pay for my stay but I wanted to stay here because I really wanted to make a review about this place because of its uniqueness about this hotel and yeah, very cool. I would highly recommend it. It's luxury but so much character and flavor and history within it. We're getting ready to check out, so that's gonna be it for this. <laughs> Micah, did you like it? And then finally, I wanna say a big thank you to you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up. And on Mark Abroad, I'm gonna be publishing lots more travel reviews, hotel reviews like this, uh, airplane reviews, travel tips, uh, travel city tours. So if you enjoy travel, be sure to click subscribe. And I will see you on the next video. Goodbye from Beirut.